And Christine, it seems out walking now with your French is even more dangerous than out than out walking with your Rolex. This latest robbery happening right on that notorious Sixth Street Bridge. I'm told a guy drives up, gets out of his car, and the witnesses say he's still sucking on a balloon, apparently doing Nas. Then he pulls out a gun and he is ready to start shooting. That's how badly he wants those two Frenchies. Check out this video. This cell video just moments after the Frenchies are stolen at gunpoint while out for a walk on the 6th Street Bridge. It was the worst feeling ever because all I'm thinking is that I didn't even care I got a gun pointed at my face. All I was thinking at the moment, what am I going to do to get her back? What am I going to do? Can I do something? Anna and her friend not showing their faces, both concerned for their safety, but really concerned for the safety of their French bulldogs. Blue Sky is Anna's baby, a two-year-old Frenchie, and Rhino is four years old. He's Jack's boy. I'm devastated, yeah. I'm really upset and devastated. I, I want my boy back, you know. Both French Bulldogs stolen late Friday night when a man pulls up right in the middle of the 6th Street Bridge, gets out of his car sucking on a balloon, apparently filled with Nas, and holding a gun in his hand. Got closer, and he, that's when he got the gun on my face and then hers. Um, you think he would have shot you? If you didn't oh, yeah, yeah. At one point, I put my hands up and I closed my eyes and I put my head down because I honestly thought he was just going to shoot me right there and then, you know? And all because he wanted your friendship? Honestly, just because of the dog, yes. This just the latest in a series of French Bulldogs targeted and then stolen from their owners. Oh, my gosh. Crazy, man. <laughs> Just last Thursday, we told you about Cardi, the year-old Frenchie, stolen in a home burglary in West Hills. But now Cardi is back home again, her owner getting a mysterious late-night text saying Cardi's outside, tied to a light pole, and she was. So now Cardi's back safe and sound, while Anna and Jack are left hoping their Frenchies will be brought back safely, too. That breaks my heart, not knowing where she's at, that she's, that she's gone, that she, I don't have her with me. So I'm just hoping wherever she's at, she's safe. And she's just going to come home to me. So. You're home safe and sound. Yes, definitely. And now live, that is the hope here for these two Frenchies stolen on the 6th Street Bridge. And then how about that happy ending up there in West Hills, huh? And imagine the owner, you know, she's heartbroken, she's crying, and then all of a sudden, middle of the night, she gets a text from somebody she doesn't even know, doesn't recognize the number, and the message just says, your, your Frenchie's out front tied to a pole. Now, Cardi seems to be okay. She's still being checked out by a vet, but at least she is back home. And these thefts continue to happen with these bulldogs, continue to being targeted and stolen. They bring a high price tag and that seems to be the big attraction for now we're live here downtown back to both of you we go